All right, what we're going to do here is show you how to uh, add a slide check valve to a remote system that doesn't currently have one. Most remotes basically consisted of three parts. You have your on-off valve with the knob that turns it on and off, and of course the tank will go right into here. Then you have the basic hose. Now you'll find different versions of these. This one's kind of a crappy one. I don't really recommend it, but uh, it was available for the video. Then you'll have the quick disconnect right here. Okay, so as you can see, what we'll uh, show you here is get the little collar, no problem. Okay, so when you're going to take this apart, you just take one crescent wrench right here at the base, the very end of the hose. Okay, take another one right there around the body of the uh, quick disconnect, and while this seems easy right now, the first time you do this, it will not be easy. Okay, basically just undo this. Right here, the threads would normally either be covered in Loctite if it's the first time, or if you've, obviously if you've done this before, you're probably not watching this, but um, you might see things like thread tape, which is what I got right here. So if you do have thread tape, clean it off. You don't want it on there. So... Let me snag that little bit off. It still wants to be a pain. There we go. And we'll just throw that away. Okay. So now I have my hose and my quick disconnect. Alright. So what we're going to show you here now is the slide check valve. The slide check valve consists of one of two different ways. One is basically just the basic body with the, the inside um, hosing or body and then the slide check sleeve okay that's what actually turns the turns it on and off now some of them will have an integrated quick disconnect like this one does or some of them will have a quick disconnect separate and some won't have the quick disconnect at all if you're going to use the original okay once we have that we'll take some thread tape or plumber's tape or teflon tape whatever you want to call it these days and cut a short distance off basically enough to wrap it around two or three times okay and when I do this I actually want to set it so that I'm wrapping it the same way I'm going to be screwing the body on of the slide check on in other words clockwise okay so we'll wrap that all around two three times or so don't have to be exact. I'm going to smooth that out. Now at the top, you can kind of see that it's a little uh, all covered in and get you a closer look. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that up and move it aside, make sure it does not get inside that hole. That'll block airflow and cause crap to go through your marker that won't make it run very well. So fine we just want to get it out here okay just kind of smooth it around now I'll take the body of the uh, slide check and I'll just take a couple of hand turns to get it threaded on there okay take my crescent wrench tighten around the base of the hose and when you attach a quick disconnect, or a slide check, excuse me, you'll find that the place you grab it, once it's on, is in a different location. Remember here, when I take off the old, or the old quick disconnect, I had to grab down here. Now I'm grabbing all the way up here. Okay? And obviously I'm going to tighten this. I mean, don't crank on it too much, but you want to get some good force on it. And that'll work. Okay. Now, if your slide check did not come with a quick disconnect pre-attached like this, you'll just have another threaded section right there. You take the original one and screw it down. Same way. You'll still get some Teflon tape, thread it around, attach your new quick disconnect, and you'll be good to go. Okay. Well, that's pretty much all it is. Again, uh, what you'll see here is some Loctite on the original ones if you've never done this before on your particular marker or a hose, rather and uh, it will take some force to get that off. All right, so be prepared, it will come off. 
If that's the case, you might want to get a fixed crescent wrench, or two of them, the appropriate sizes, or vice grips. You'll mar it up a little bit, but we're scenario ballers, don't really care. So, quit, uh, the vice grips won't slip, so you'll get a good grip on that way, and be able to make sure you get everything taken care of. So, all right, hope that answers your questions.